you're someone who doesn't like doing those 30 minute marathon cleans in your bathroom, then you would benefit from doing express cleans in your bathroom, which are little intermittent cleanings that help you stay on top of the mess that can pile up in a space like your bathroom. The thing is you actually have to stick to it. So you've got to carve out five or 10 or 15 minutes. Now you might be thinking five minutes to clean a bathroom, impossible, but I'm here to show you how much you can do in five minutes if you stay on top of things. So long as you have the right products, tools, and techniques, your bathroom can look amazing in less than it would take you to listen to a song. And just a quick reminder, if you haven't done so already to subscribe to the Clean My Space channel, and give this video a thumbs up if you would like to spend less time cleaning your bathroom. So when I'm walking in to do this five minute clean, I have everything I'm going to need with me from a mop to fresh towels, as well as microfiber cloths. And the reason I'm doing this is so that I don't have to run out and grab anything. I wanna make this as efficient as possible. So the first thing I'm doing here is I'm clearing everything off of the counter, which is the first area that I'm going to spray and pre-treat. I love pre-treating, as you probably know, because it just allows the product to do its work. Now for this surface and for the bathroom in general, I'm just using a dish soap and water combo, just a general purpose cleaner that's simple and safe to use. Now next, I'm gonna be pre-treating the toilet just with the exact same product, that all-purpose cleaner. Now I'm gonna change out the bath towel and I'm also taking out the other stuff which I'll toss into a pile and launder later. I think it's important to change your towels and hand towels out a couple of times a week. Now, instead of cleaning the whole tub, which would take way more than five minutes, I'm just doing a cursory tidy of the tub. So I'm putting all of the products back where they belong and cleaning up any of the toys that frankly should have been put away at last night's bath. The one thing I will do is clean the metal fixtures in the tub just to remove any of those hard water spots, which typically a microfiber cloth and some all-purpose cleaner can do in my house. But if you have hard water, you might wanna use some vinegar for that task. Now that that's done, I'm moving back to the toilet. You'll see I'm using paper towel here. I don't like to use microfiber cloths when I'm cleaning the toilet. I prefer the disposable route. I will tell you that when you're spraying your toilet down, you wanna make sure you're doing it liberally because it's going to sit for about five minutes or so, or three minutes, but you just don't want your product to dry up. So make sure that you give it a good, nice liberal spritz. And if it's already dry, you can retreat it. Oh, and make sure that you clean the exterior of the bowl. Don't skip that part. And now to clean the toilet bowl, I'm using the Scotch-Brite Disposable Toilet Scrubber, which is a quick and easy toilet cleaning system. The way that it works is you open up the caddy, take out the handle, and pop the handle into one of these scrubber heads. You'll hear it snap into place. Now I've dipped it into water and you'll see its unique shape really allows you to get into all of those crevices in a toilet, like under the rim, which is where I'm starting. So you can work your way around the toilet, top to bottom, as I always recommend. And when you're done, you can simply slide the button forward to eject the used head into your garbage can, make sure that you don't flush it. And then you can just replace the handle in the caddy for next time. Now I'm coming right back to the counter and it's really important to do a good wipe down of the counter, the faucets and the fixtures because of course this is where a lot of the mess happens, of course as well as the floor, but we'll get to that in a minute. So for this I'm just using an S pattern and a Maker's Clean microfiber cloth to do a really good wipe down. Now I'm going to give the sink a wipe down too. Notice I'm not doing a heavy duty scrub here. Again, we're just trying to make things look good and stay refreshed. Mirrors, I'm not gonna spray the whole mirror down here. Rather, I'm going to spot treat it. So I'm taking a microfiber cloth, I'm spraying a little bit of that all-purpose cleaner on there, and I'm kind of moving around to use the light and find any of those streaks or splatters that I wanna get rid of. I'm gonna put everything back onto the counter just quickly and neatly. I always like to line things up parallel and perpendicular. That way I have nice, neat angles. Now we'll finish things off by cleaning the floor. I'm using that same all-purpose cleaner. Notice the trend here. And just a quick cursory mop is all that is needed to make this bathroom look and feel refreshed. One tip I know I always talk about, but I wanna say it again, is to always mop yourself out of the room instead of into a corner. 
This video was brought to you by the Scotch-Brite Disposable Toilet Scrubber that you saw me use in this video. The Disposable Toilet Scrubber is a quick and easy toilet cleaning system featuring a unique shape and flexing head to access stains hidden under the rim. Combine that with the built-in bleach alternative cleaner with pumice, and you have a tool that delivers the deep scrubbing power that Scotch-Brite brand is known for. To learn more, visit scotch-brite.com. Now to be clear, this isn't gonna tackle a messy bathroom that hasn't been cleaned in a month. This is something that you would wanna do a couple of times a week so that you can stay on top of the mess before it ever goes over the edge. And that brings me to this week's comment question, which is, what do you find more daunting, frustrating, gross to clean in a bathroom? A toilet or a tub? For me, a toilet, I gotta tell you, when I first started cleaning, I found it yuck, but now it's just quick, it's easy, it's methodical, I can get it done. For me, a tub is multiple steps and I actually find that to be a more frustrating task. Not too much frustrating, but it just takes more time and I kind of dread it more than cleaning a toilet. But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you wanna see what we're up to during the rest of the week, you can follow along on Instagram. I'm at Melissa Maker. Chad is at the Chad Reynolds, and we are all at Clean My Space. If you also find cleaning a bathtub daunting, you can watch this video. It is clean a tub like a pro. It is all my pro tips packed into one video. If you haven't done so already, make sure that you subscribe to the Clean My Space channel to begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.